Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Lamry, and welcome everybody to Final Fantasy XIV. In today's video, I actually had a lot of questions regarding my previous video that I made a recently in commentary about how to create certain things in high quality for class quests and everything. As you can see, I'm currently in the Carpenter's Guild right now in Gordania. There's a beetle over there with a class quest that I still haven't started up because I've kind of been a little bit lazy with uh, <laughs> with some of the class quests, so I haven't really been worried about it too much, but I wanted to go ahead and show you all how to create some of the high quality items. I've been having a headache of it myself as well, and I was hoping maybe this video could help out for starting crafters such as myself, uh, and try to pass on this knowledge on to y'all to try to help out. So for example, let's go over to see what we can make. I have the materials necessary for Please ignore this. I recently found out there's a sword feature, right? Don't use that. That breaks everything. See? Ah! It's a mess. Here, let me grab my oak. Let me grab my algoid horn. My bisinu. My oak again. There we go. There they are. That's a little bit easier for me to see. <laughs> That's a little bit more sane instead of this whole mess. Oh my god, it's terrifying. Okay, okay. Calm down. Alright, so for example, let's say you want to make a composite bow for a class quest, and you need to make sure that it's high quality. Well, the best way to ensure how that works, and the best way to ensure the progress for that is first to obtain high quality items. As you can see right now, currently I was able to create previously three oak lumber that I just pulled directly from my retainer. My retainer is a mess, but it does store most of the high quality and regular bulks of items that I would need eventually for these kind of crafts in the future. Besides, there are also some items that I'll work on as well that I try to keep in mind and try to make sure that I keep them obtained for myself just to make sure. And I've been actually running around as my botanist gathering all the items and using all the necessary abilities in order to make sure that I obtain as many high quality items as possible for a lot of my recipes. Which is why it's really good to have a botanist and work on actually obtaining high quality items instead of going to the market board and spending possibly a fortune on something really really nice. In fact, the prices for a lot of these items that are regular content like Bistinu and Algot Horn are pretty inexpensive or normal, for example, like this qu a quantity of 89 for 120 in total, compared to quantity of 1 for 1000. And it only escalates from there 1 for 10,000, 2 for 19, 995, uh, 1 for 80,000. Two regular ones for 499 million, 999,999. But Geralt, Geralt, what are you doing? Geralt, what are you doing, Geralt? Why do you do this? It's gonna cost me a pretty penny, so I hope you appreciate the amount of money I'm actually spending on y'all. <laughs> oh god, rip my rip my in-game bank account. <laughs> oh well, let's get back to the carpet uh let's get back to the carpenter's guild for now and I'll show you how to create these high quality items. Alright, now that we're back, let's go ahead and talk about what exactly you will need before you can start crafting. I'm not sure if any of y'all have any of the cross-class abilities, these things over here, but I would highly recommend looking into and actually obtaining a particular cross-class ability. I'd highly recommend looking into the ability called Hasty Touch, which is a Disciple of the Hand Culinarian ability. This ability is going to be very, very useful for you, and it's going to be extremely important if you want to do things as an optimal minimalist. I should probably clarify that this ability is a must-have if you want to get any of this accomplished because first of all it increases high quality and it also does not drain CP whatsoever so you can use CP for things like buffs and in order to enhance your chances of actually creating some of these items that you're trying to create for a class quest so this thing is kind of a must-have if you want to be an absolute minimalist when it comes to cross class abilities. So the best way to do it is to just bite the bullet and go through the culinary ability and get yourself hasty touch. That is the least you can get. There are a lot of other cross class abilities that I highly recommend you getting as I've been struggling with this entire dilemma myself as well. But for now the least you need is hasty touch. That's at least as far as I've gotten. And now I'm pretty sure some of the experienced craftsmen are rolling their eyes thinking why why are you not getting every single cross class ability? Do not realize Thamriel, how beneficial that is. Do you now realize that you could be having such a better time crafting and learning the art of the craft in Final Fantasy XIV with all the cross class abilities? Why aren't you working towards that? Well, uh, <laughs> I made it a point to only have one crafting profession at a time. 
simply because I didn't want to overfill my inventory with all these tools and side tools for every single profession out there and not have a mess of dealing with inventory. You're right. Uh, and for anybody who's starting crafting, I highly recommend getting every single class to at least level 15 and culinary to, I believe, level 35 if you want to have a significantly easier time than I've had creating high quality materials. At least get every single class for crafting to level 15 and then grab the cross class abilities and start incorporating them to have a better time. Because in hindsight, I should have done that. In hindsight, I should have done that. <laughs> anyway, moving on with the video as a minimalist guide. Now, when you obtain all the items necessary and you have all your high quality materials, what you want to do is head over here and designate which ones of the items for high quality and normal quality will be used in a particular craft. You will see on the left here, it was going to say of how much of these items you need. And on the right here, you get to designate how much of it you can use. For example, technically you can use one normal quality oak lumber and two high quality oak lumber. And that will actually improve your quality startup. As you can see right here, what starts up here, I'm going to start with 1025 quality out of 2050. The higher starting quality you will have will allow you to create high quality items a lot faster. The lower high quality items you have, like for example, let's say I make everything normal you will have no startup of quality whatsoever but fret not that is not a worst case scenario ever you can still get high quality items even at zero quality from the start it is going to be a lot more difficult so for example let's say hypothetically i do have my high quality items and i decide to craft an oak composite bow for high quality click synthesize and this is where our cross class ability will be extremely useful at first, I would like to start off with casting in or quiet, which will grant a bonus to control with every increase in quality, which is going to be really good, stacks up to 11 times, and then I use steady hand to improve action success rate by 20% for the next 5 steps. And that's the primarily what I will use as my primary buffs in order to see if I can achieve this. Now at this point, watching condition is going to be extremely important. For example, as you can see here, my current condition is excellent, which means if I succeed at my next synthesis of high quality, my next synthesis will actually be extremely, extremely buffed. In fact, I'm highly, highly thinking of using Advanced Touch, which is part of the Carpenter Level 43 ability, in order to increase the quality by 150% because it has higher efficiency. It has a 90% success rate, which means it's not always going to work, but it has a higher success rate than Hasty Touch, which is why I'm going to go ahead and use it and pray to God that it works. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, thank Burgod. Thank Burgod's blessing. <laughs> right now, the condition of the item is currently poor, so I could skip it using Observe and do nothing for one step and see if it improves, or still attempt to use Haste Touch to improve the high quality a little bit here. I'm gonna actually choose to use Haste Touch to improve it by a little bit. There's a lower chance of it actually working, but it did improve by a little bit, which is nice. Now, my current high quality chance is 1822 out of 2050, which is high quality of 84%. In order to make sure you get an optimal high quality item, you want to make sure this percent is as close to 100% or is actually at 100% as possible. So, for my next uh, cast currently here, what I will do is actually use Hasty Touch again since I have still three sets of State Hand to use. Let's go ahead and use that again. And now I'm at 92, which is really, really nice. Some of you may be screaming, some of you experienced crafters may be screaming and saying, Thamuel, you probably should have used standard synthesis and basic synthesis to increase the progress. That step I typically leave at the very last because I want to focus on high quality. Both crafters can use it, the methods as any way you want to. I just feel more comfortable working on high quality rather than the actual progress. Since I created a lot of these items before in the past, in my personal experience, working on the quality was a lot more fruitful the work in progress first nevertheless let's go ahead and end it off with one more hasty touch to get it to as close to 100 as possible and this time it actually broke wow that is actually kind of <laughs> kind of sad let's use it again 
Okay, and it's at 100%, which is exactly what we need. That means it's a guaranteed crafting chance of 100% with high quality items, which means we did kind of cheat with a little buff there, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and use Master's Mend 2, which restores item duration by 60%. Right now, as you can see, our durability is 30 out of 80. I could use one of uh, basic synthesis. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use one basic synthesis here. See if we can progress the actual progress. Nice, very nice. For the sake of not spending last durability that I have left, I'm gonna use Master's Mend. And then I'm gonna use Steady Hand again in order to increase my overall success rate by 20%. Then I'll use Basic Synthesis. And I am done. I create an Oak Composite Bow. And that's pretty much it how you deal with high quality items. Now, if you do not have high quality items, creating high quality items will be at that point really, really hard. But let's go ahead and show you how I typically would do it. And now let's begin the normal crafting. You're probably wondering why am I currently in a market board area? It's because I actually ran out of oak and I have to uh, get some more from my retainer. Nevertheless, we got some oak lumber, we got beast sinew, and algod horn. Now this is the time, this is a part where everything becomes very RNG heavy, and at this point, patience is key. If you have no high quality items whatsoever, which is a pretty, pretty rough start, then the best thing you could do is just keep going at it at your best possible optimal ability. Let's go ahead and try out the progress bar. Let's go ahead and fill it up as much as we can. There we go. That's a pretty good progress bar fill. We could probably go one more, or we should probably not do it because it's gonna auto-complete the objective for us. Let's go ahead and actually turn on inner quiet and steady hand. We'll then start using, because it's good, very nice, we'll start using hasty touch to improve the high quality of the item. There we go, it's at 2%, not too bad. Keep going. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna try not to use Burgard's Blessing, which is a level 50 ability, uh, because I feel like a lot of you would be doing this around level 40 to 35 to 30, and you're trying to make a high quality item. Uh, and Burgard's Blessing is a level 50 ability, so which is this is why I don't particularly use it. Uh, I'm not gonna particularly use it for this example. Otherwise, it would be way too easy. This is actually a really good ability to use. Hasty Touch again. There we go. Not bad. Working out pretty well. There we go. At that point, what I typically like to do is use ruminations to recover whatever CP I used to have. And then start all over again. It's a very, very weird process, but do hear me out on why I do this. There we go. Master's Mend to boost back to 80 durability. Ruminations again to recover whatever CP we had. In a quiet, steady hand. And start using hasty touch again. Slowly but surely, hoping that the RNG is within our favor in this situation. And sometimes I think it's also good to use Advanced Touch in order to make sure your abilities are as optimal as possible. There we go, now we're currently at 14%. Not too bad of a start so far. There we go, not bad at all. I'm being very, very planner-like. I'm trying to be very careful about this <laughs> and how I approach this entire situation. If I use Master's Men right now, we'll recover three to, uh, 30 durability for me, which will allow me to keep crafting, but I will have Steady Hand unavailable for me again, and I don't want to use Inner Quiet again to, to lose it. I'm gonna risk gonna use Master's Mend. There we go, now I got no CP whatsoever, the only ability I can use is Hasty Touch. This is why having high quality items on you is extremely, extremely recommended. You want to make sure you have on you, or else you're going to be in a situation that I'm in right now, where I'm just praying to the RNG gods for this to work. I got the item quality to 98%. This is as best as I can do right now. Okay. Now... What I should do is try to see if I can use Ruminations for extra CP recovery now that my percentage is at 98%, right? To see if we can recover some CP and use Standard Synthesis, which has a success rate of 90, 
Oh wait, they both have a standard success rate 19, never mind. <laughs> Let me see if I can use Ingenuity to lower down recipe level for the next five steps, which is a blacksmith's, blacksmith's ability. Or oh, armor's ability. No, it's blacksmith's ability. Sorry. Losing my mind here trying to... I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out so much. Okay, good. Let's do this. Ingenuity. Alright. Now that we have this buff on, let's also do steady hand just in case. And finish this off with a bang with hopefully a high quality material of 98. High quality oak composite bow has been created, ladies and gentlemen. And that is how you do it. It is going to be a very, very stressful journey for you. So I highly recommend, first of all, grab a gathering profession that can gather high quality items for you and help you out a little bit. Second of all, if you have any friends within your free company or friends within the game that don't have a need for high quality items and they can just toss it off to you that you need, feel free to grab them. Third, if you have the ability to farm the items, I would highly recommend that as well. And fourth, I would try to work on the class quests and some of the cross-class abilities. It's going to be very painful managing your inventory slots and your weapon slots and your tool slots with all the items you're going to have stored up in here. I understand that completely. But some of the abilities for cross-class abilities are extremely good, such as Ingenuity of, of the Blacksmith, which slightly lowers recipe level for the next five steps, so it's going to be really useful. Armor Rapid Synthesis, which increases progress of 250% efficiency, but a 50% success rate. At the Culinarian of Hasty Touch, which increases quality and requires no CP, and so on and so forth. And this is from me to you, from one novice crafter to other novice crafters. Make sure to have at least a Hasty Touch if you want to be a minimalist like me and have a kind of a hard time doing this. That is literally how I did it. I try to make sure I spend as least amount of gil on this as possible. And so can you. It is going to be a very long, a very long, very arduous journey of learning a lot of lessons. <laughs> I learned my lesson and I'm passing my lessons on to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe and as always have a good day. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Also... Thank you. <laughs> you know what? Hold on, hold on, give me a sec here. I need to trade some things with you. I gotta give you... I'll be nice and give you 100,000 gil. Here you go. Have it. You have fun with that. A very lovely present for the potions that I can use. You don't have to give me a rose pink dye, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Look at that. A level 24 player being very, very nice and generous to me. That is so kind of them. Thank you so much. I wonder if they're actually level 24. Maybe they are. I don't know, actually. I wonder if I can invite them to the company. Maybe. If they if they do want to play in the game. <laughs> well, that was actually completely off the script. Not even kidding yet. Nevertheless, uh, I hope the video helped out. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video. Uh, if any crafters would love to drop off some very helpful hints, either in one single comment or they want to write a entire guide down in the comments below, I would highly recommend you do so in order to help out me as a novice rising crafter and all the other crafters struggling in the attempt to create high quality items and some of the ease of things to do. Um, nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't take it as a serious guide to how to properly do this. Take it as thems not from one novice to another guide on how you can try to cheat the system in the most painful way possible. <laughs> Nevertheless, hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped out a little bit. My name is Tamriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. And I'll see you all next video of Final Fantasy XIV. See ya!